Like, when you hear this example, you'll know that whoever thought of this is someone who knows what they're doing. Once there was this bazaar of handmade jewelry being held in our town, and we all knew our stepmom was going there in the evening. She also loved making jewelry to sell. It wasn't a huge income, but it helped back then. So, Mia and Cynthia were there earlier that day. They knew most of the sellers were judgmental, bitter old ladies from small towns and villages. When my sisters got there, they started crying. Can someone give us a hug? We're orphans, and we have no mom. We're poor. Give us a hug. A hug, give us. Our Zigbag, I mean our stepmom is evil. She doesn't take care of us. She steals from us. She steals from us. From us, she steals. Tonight, she'll come and she'll sell our jewelry. The jewelry our deceased mom gave us. Don't buy from her. From her, don't buy it. And they fell on their knees and started crying, begging people to save them. The women there hugged them and promised to teach our stepmom a lesson. And they sure did. Stepmom took me with her that evening. And the moment she got there, some women snatched me away from her and attacked her like crazy. Poor thing. Her body did look like a zigzag after the attack. So, stepmom couldn't go back to the bazaar, and we really needed the money. So, I got an idea. The next day, I stole Cynthia's tambourine and Mia's skirt and went to the bazaar looking like a gypsy. I started dancing, clapping, and singing. Some people were laughing, and some gave me money. And I made a good amount. I knew exactly what to buy. I noticed that your bag is old and worn out, so I got you this one. It's not fancy, but yeah. Oh, Talia, you're the sweetest. I wish your sisters were more like you. Zigbag bought me a new outfit to thank me. Ah, she's the sweetest. Ignore my smile, please. I was just super happy that I got the bigger bear, while Cynthia got the smaller one. I went over her for once. <laughs> See, guys, I told you my name and even showed you my real face, unlike everyone's favorite ramen. I mean, I love her too, but she didn't even tell you her name or show her real picture. Now, please, MSA owner, don't add the link to the ramen video in the left corner for people to watch while I'm talking. I don't want the lovely audience to click on it and leave me. Please, sir, don't do it. And yes, I know you're a guy because I also watched the video that talked about you. And please don't add that above me, just in the description box. It's my video and it's my moment. I want to enjoy it. And guys, in case they betrayed me and added links while I'm talking, don't click. Be loyal to me. Being loyal is awesome. Anyway, back to the story. Zigbag wasn't awful to my sisters. Like, she was just an average, angry stepmom, nothing extreme. I think my youngest sisters would agree with me because they loved her. Eva was one year younger, and Debbie was two years younger than me. They looked almost the same, and people thought they were twins. They were very nitpicky, but stepmom never complained. She'd cook anything they asked. Like this one time, Zigbag made pasta, and Eva and Debbie wouldn't eat it with just any tomato sauce. They wanted Heinz ketchup only. The bottle was a bit expensive back then, so stepmom would use it when needed and then hide it in some closet. But that night, Mia came in and snatched it and started squeezing it at Eva and Debbie until it was all empty. I jumped at Mia to stop her, but Cynthia held me back. She was stronger than any girl I knew. Man, a punch from this girl would make you half blind if she hit you in the stomach. Mia, why are you so mean? I'm not mean. I'm just gray. What? Why are you talking about colors? You're dumb. I just asked you one question. I just want to know. And I answered your question so you would know. What? I gave stepmom my pocket money I'd been saving to buy my sisters their favorite ketchup. You see, Mia wasn't mean mean. She was gray. Yeah, I understood what she meant when I got a bit older. Like once when Zigbag was admitted to the hospital for two weeks, Mia acted like our mom, and she took good care of us. She'd do that every time Zigbag had to leave us. You see, she had this sparkle in her eyes that tells you that this girl would have a better personality if she'd lived in some different, better circumstances, I guess. And yeah, maybe you got the impression that Mia and Cynthia were like a team, and Eva and Debbie were like a team. And yep, I was stuck in the middle. Maybe my stupid closeness to stepmom created this gap between me and my sisters? I don't know. I hate odd numbers. Why didn't mom give birth to a sixth daughter, and then she could have run to wherever she wanted. But at least I had dad. Dad was cool, but he didn't have much time for us. Not because he was busy or something, he just wasn't a family man. He'd go to work, meet his brother or some friends, then come home, eat dinner, and sleep. But I loved him, and for some reason, I always felt a bit sorry for him. His wife left him alone with five girls, and he married someone you could tell he wasn't in love with. Life was hard on him. But I have some cool memories with him. Like growing up, we all used to watch Lizzie McGuire, and man, I was so in love with Lizzie's beauty 
Barbie, especially her hair. Her bangs were my dream. So once in fifth grade, I took a pair of scissors and started cutting my bangs in our bathroom to look like her. Suddenly, Eva knocked on the door, crying that she needed to use the bathroom. Just go poop under a rock outside. I swear, if you don't open it, I'm calling Cynthia to break down the door. I opened the door and Eva looked at me like I was an alien. Just use the bathroom and leave. I won't look. Can you also cut my bangs? You look so cool. I have...